What is going on guys? It's going on gaming here and welcome back to another video. In this video I'm gonna be showing you guys how to escape the escape team on the escapist iOS. Um so let's get right to it. And this is a narration of what I've been doing. I've already like pre recorded it since I have it broken up in segments. So the first little bit we do is we go all the way down to the bottom like the bottom left of the prison, I would say, and we go into this building and like the metal working building. And I go into the back to dig through it with forks. And this is because I had no pickaxe and I could not find a crowbar because you can't buy any items. So I used five forks to break through this wall as you can see here. Then I'm kind of cutting through them. Once I get in, I'm going to go to the desk, loot it. Those items include the corrugated iron, the metal cone, the pipe, and I grab some metal sheets for some reason. I don't really know why. But uh, so yeah, that's the first desk night one or that was night one so night two i do the same thing got my four forks got my guard outfit i'm gonna put that on because that saved me so many times in this put the guard outfit back i gotta put the fake wall block and then i got i already placed a fork where i'm going i do remember this i placed a fork where it was uh, as you can see i have low battery but i'm going to where i was so i needed a shovel and four forks for this or you need five or you just need five forks and a shovel or you need 10 forks and then basically you're gonna dig under the first wall and then I'll just uh, skip to when I do all right so we got in the completely dug through and I leave my shovel or my soil and shovel out there I sit down on the chair because I need about 60 energy to actually get through the wall so I was like oh cool I'm glad there's a uh, chairs in here it makes it a lot simpler to actually get the energy so then once I actually get the energy which is a uh, pretty soon and I will go up to the wall and I will go up and start hitting it with you know the forks because that's what you do and then and this um, chest is the potassium now the potassium is part of the explosive mix which you need to make like you need that to make one of the final pieces you need so once you get here the only thing in there is potassium and there it is you can see the potassium right there so that is that chest completely done and I grabbed the duct tape for good measure in case I needed it. So then I place the wall block back and I go to the second chest. Second chest is just located right there on like the top middle of my screen now. I'm going to it. If you didn't recognize that was chest, I don't know what to tell you. Then I grab the uh, last corrugated iron, metal tube, metal cone, and then I, I'm like, okay, I don't need anything else. Everything else is basic. So then I patch up the holes and the reason I patched up the holes is because I realized, you know what? If they catch these, I'm gonna be screwed. The other thing, I picked up the soil because if they find soil, they immediately like red flags go everywhere. You get sent to solitary immediately. So I left some contraband items, which in reality I should have left the duct tape, but I didn't. I left the metal cone. But the worst thing you can do with contraband items is they'll take them. But I did not want uh, anything to happen to the other items. So I placed a wall block and I did decide to dispose of the soil by putting them in Cage's desk. So then I grab the duct tape, go back in, and now I'm going to craft some of the final pieces. Put my inmate outfit back on. I'm going to craft some of the final pieces. I'm going to craft the... Um, I don't remember what it's called, but I'm basically going to craft the, the top of the tank. The turret. So I need one more duct tape for this. Luckily I had tons, as you can see in there. So then I have... Um, one part, two parts down, because I already got the makeshift fuse another time. So that's night two. All right, so for this night, I'm putting a bed dummy down in case they ever come in, because I've been lucky pretty much, but I wanted to make sure I'd be safe. So I already stored five forks up there, where I'm going to be digging, which you need to dig into the gardener's room. So I already stored five forks there, and now I'm going to go and go there. So I'll, I'll cut to where I am. All right, so I just dug through the wall on this one, and the reason I need to dug through the wall is because you need fertilizer, which is part of the explosive mix. It's literally the only reason. If you can get this job, it'd make it a lot easier, but I don't know how, because every time I would access the job board, it would just be a blank screen. It would just be glitch. Um, so you get the fertilizer. Fer fertilizer. You get the fertilizer. Um, see, they, they think I'm a guard. You go back into your base. Now I'm going to craft the explosive mix. And then the explosive round or whatever it's called. So potassium, charcoal, and fertilizer, you get that. And then you get that. 
and then you get the explosive round or whatever. By the way, while I'm traveling over to the tank, you get the charcoal by the like building at the top left of the prison. It has like these little green blobs on the door. And if you see that and you see the desk inside, basically you just need a guard outfit to access that door. So once you get the guard outfit, you go through that door, you'll find a charcoal. So then, basically, I just went up here, and I f didn't realize how you did it. You had to hold the item and then press B. I did not realize you could do that. I just thought it would auto. I didn't know you had to, like, build it. I thought it would just auto take the items. But then you make shift explosive round. You got to press A or click it and press B. Then the makeshift fuse. And then I press it again, and boom, I escaped. So while this is ending, I guess I would have to say thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.